This video is about adjective endings and we'll focus on no words. What are adjective endings? Let's start by looking at a few sentences. Weine sind lecker. Wines are tasty. Leckere Weine schmecken gut. Tasty wines taste good. In the first sentence, lecker does not have an ending. In the second sentence, it does. Why? Adjectives get endings when they precede, come in front of, a noun. Another way to say the same thing, if there is a noun right after an adjective, that adjective will have an ending. Remember, all nouns in German are capitalized, so they are easy to identify. Why does this happen? You have learned that there are different articles, the and a uh, and, for different nouns. These articles express gender, masculine, neuter, feminine, and plural, and case, nominative, accusative, dative, and genitive. If an adjective comes in front of a noun, it must also express these things. If it does not precede a noun, then it gets no ending. So how do we do this? Let's look at another example. This time I will leave parts blank. Ich kaufe blank beer. I buy Austrian beer. There will always be three things you need to know in order to figure out adjective endings. Gender is the noun after the adjective masculine, feminine, neuter, or plural. Case is the noun after the adjective nominative, accusative, dative, or genitive. Word is the word in front of the adjective, a the word, a word, or nothing. Let's look at our example. What is the noun after the adjective? Beer. What is the gender of beer? Neuter. You cannot just guess here. The whole thing will be wrong and you will be frustrated. This is a time for learning, so if you don't know, look it up. What is the case of beer? Accusative. It is the direct object. If you can't remember case rules, review the videos for case. It's important. What is the word in front of the adjective? The adjective is Austrian, and the word in front of it is nothing. This means there is no article like the or a, uh, so we say it is nothing or kein Wort. So how do we do this? We're going to look at the adjective endings. Here's a treat. There is only one chart. Unproceeded, no word, kind word adjectives have no word in front of them to need a chart. That means that the first and only chart is for the adjective endings. We need to think about something. The adjectives are the only word here to show the gender and the case of the noun they are in front of. That's a lot of pressure for those little endings. What chart shows gender best? The the chart. That will be our clue in what adjective endings we might have. Think about what letter would best show gender if we looked only to the the chart for help. See the chart for clues. Now we can move on. We have adjective endings for unproceeded, no word, or kind word. So. We have masculine, feminine, neuter, and plural for nominative, accusative, dative, and genitive. And remember, you're using this chart as your example. So, for masculine, feminine, neuter, and plural, we have ER, E, ES, E. If you've learned the acronym, it looks a lot like RESA, except you have E's in front of the R and the S. For accusative, you're going to have EN, E, ES, E. NASA. If you're looking at the the word chart above, you should start seeing some sort of similarities. For dative, you have EM, ER, EM, EN. Still seeing those similarities. And for genitive, you have ER and ER. Here is the only difference. Genitive for the the chart is sir, sir. For the adjective ending chart for unproceeded, no word, or kind wort adjectives, you have nerner, en, en, for the genitive. So let's look at our example. We have I buy Austrian beer. The gender is neuter, the case is accusative, 
and there is no word in front of the adjective. So how do you say Austrian? If you don't remember, look it up. Also, don't forget, no adjectives are capitalized. Only nouns are capitalized. We capitalize Austrian in English. That does not mean that they capitalize it in German. We are talking about the beer. Austrian here is an adjective, which means it's not capitalized. The word for Austrian is Österreich. Then use the chart. What ending do you put on Österreich für neuter accusative? So neuter accusative. You've got your answer. Ich kaufe österreichisches Bier. I buy Austrian beer. We have some examples below for you to try this more. You may need to go back to the previous slide and look at the chart. This should take a couple of minutes, but it's really great practice. So pause the video now. You should have frische Äpfel schmecken gut. Äpfel is plural, not masculine. Apfel is masculine. It is nominative. It's the subject and there's no word. Du gibst thailandischen Kindern die Informationen über Unis in USA. Kindern is plural. It's dativ because it's the indirect object and there's no word in front of the adjective. Wir trinken spanischen Wein. Wein is masculine. It's accusative because it's the direct object and there's no word in front of the adjective. Italienische Salami ist wunderbar. Salami is feminine. It's nominative because it's the subject and there's no word in front of the adjective. Alex ist teure Schokolade. Schokolade is feminine. It's accusative and the direct object and there's no word in front of teuer. If you've seen the word teuer before, you know it's normally spelt with an E in front of the R. Teuer is very well supported by vowels, so when you add an ending onto teuer, it drops the E in front of the R. So you get this word here, teuer, instead of teuer, which is harder to say it a little bit longer. So just for your knowledge. The last example. Billige jeans sind schwer zu finden. Jeans is plural. It's nominative because it's the subject, and there's no word preceding the adjective. 